Chris Perillo asks us the question, can software be cheaper? And then also answers it and saying because of the law of supply and demand, yes, it at some point will be. But I want to take this question off into two other directions. Okay, number one, the type of software that I would be looking at in reference to this question would be operating systems. Why is it that you pay $200 for Windows 7? You pay all of $30 for Mac OS 10 Lion, which will be available later this month. And you pay nothing for Linux. And Ubuntu is a pretty good operating system. I installed it on my netbook. Why is that? Will the Mac and Windows operating systems both be $30 at some point? Or maybe even less than 30 Time will tell. But I'd love to hear your comments on it. Now the other way I want to take this video. I want to give you all a heads up on something. You might like this. I saw this in the supermarket yesterday. This is an Android Apps Review Guide. And as you can see, by the little red circle there, it's reviewing 489 Android apps, both free and paid for type apps. And it's got some pages that are like this. It's got all kinds of apps on it. But it's got other ones where it has like a write-up about each application. It's got a little section over in here where it tells you whether it's free or how much you have to pay for it. And they give it an overall rating, how good it is. Now here's the nice part. There is a book sitting right next to it that's the exact same book but it's for the iPhone and iPod Touch and iPad. So now they're starting to produce books that give you ideas on different apps that you may have never heard of before. Uh, the book is a little pricey. I paid $17.99 for that. And it's got 489 apps, 162 pages. 162 pages will do you quite well while you're sitting down and eating your breakfast and reading. And then going over and installing it on your phone. So I wanted to just give you a heads up. And this is a great forum to do that in. And also post my question out there about the, the difference in cost in the major software that are operating systems between Linux, Mac, Windows. As usual, thank you for allowing me to bore you. And have a great day. Bye.